I'm done with politics. It's a farce. My eyes are wide open. It's a scam. She said politics are a scam. Oh my God, this is by design. They want us sick and they want us broke so that we can only think about what's right in front of our faces. And we don't think about all those abstract things. And I just won't be a part of it anymore. This is sad, man. So last night I got a call from my congressman, um, Jamal Bowman. He, I live in Westchester. He's very close to where AOC is. I originally got helped him get elected. I mean, I didn't do much. I, I do canvassing. I go around to the houses. I do some phone lists. I've done it my whole life. Like since I'm 14, I've been actively involved in politics. Uh, my parents were involved in politics. I had a grandmother that was very involved in Brooklyn politics. It's in our blood. It's we're one of those families. I've never been that involved in politics, but as I'm getting older, I'm starting to see the importance in it, which is why we really have to watch what this lady says, because what she says can really affect, it can really affect my views personally, because if she's been involved her whole life, her whole life, She's she's practically an expert almost. Not a literal expert, but if you're involved in anything your whole life, you know a lot about it. So I just want to know, what am I being lied to about? <laughs> That's the question I'm going into this video with. I've always felt it was my civic duty to uh, help get elected the people that align with your same political beliefs. I feel it's a civic duty, just like jury duty. Uh, went to... Uh, Went to American University. I did an internship at the Democratic National Committee. Democratic I was actively National involved Committee? when I was in college. Oh my God. Anyway, so they called to see if I'm going to canvas for them again. And I had just been watching TikToks all day. And I'm like appalled about what's going on. And I just, I, it just came over me. And I just went, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with, I'm done with politics. I, it's a farce. The, my eyes are wide open. It's a scam. She said politics are a scam, bro. She said politics are a scam. But you know what's not a scam? Ground News. Ground News offers purely objective and balanced news coverage. And by clicking on my link, ground.news slash LFRJojo, you can access this site with ease. Once you're interested in a story on Ground News, you'll have full access to all articles published per story in the coverage details section. You will also be able to compare the headlines of every article published so that you're aware how different media sources are conveying the same topic. Another great feature is that Ground News highlights the ownership behind every single story, allowing you to discern if a piece is independently sourced or influenced by larger entities. As you can see, today's story is crazy. Somebody's bleach blonde, bad built butch body. That would not be engaging in personalities, correct? A, a what now? Chairman, I'm I, make a, I make a motion to strike those I, words. I don't, I don't think that's Hold a on. part I'm of it. I'm trying to find clarification on what qualifies. Chairman, I, I motion to strike no those words. I have no idea what you just said. We're not gonna, we're not gonna do this. Look, you guys, Earlier, literally just. Uh, you just, you just, just voted to do it. Y'all did it first, so you voted to do it. Order, order. I'm trying to get, order, order. Trying to get okay. clarification. Look at, calm down, calm no, down. No, 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 because this is what y'all do. Chaos erupts in hearing as Green clashes over fake eyelash jab at Crockett. The right-leaning sources have the article titled as "How Dare You?" All he double hockey sticks breaks loose in hearing as MTG brawls with Cortez. Whereas the left-leaning sources have the article titled as "House Committee Meeting Devolves Into Chaos As Green and Cortez Trade Barbs." From this, you can see that the left and the right sources actually agree. I told you, Ground News is not biased. Within this, you can see all the outlets and news sources covering the article, which. I also find pretty cool. The article was also found using my absolute favorite tool, the News Blind Spot. The News Blind Spot features highlighted stories that are underreported by either side of the political spectrum. This is extremely important because this feature actively tells you what both sides deem as unimportant. If you're tired of biased news, this is literally your platform. Ground News is a vital resource that fosters critical thinking and it's just purely objective. I truly value what Ground News brings to the table and I encourage you to give them a try. These people do not work for us. They work for the special interest groups. They work for the corporations. They definitely don't work for us. When my president, the man that I, I voted for, can't come out and just be against burying babies alive. It's, it's a farce.
it's so anyway so the kid's like well can we put you down and I'm like no and he was like yeah but Jamal's a good guy and I'm like yeah he's a product of a single mother he worked in education in the Bronx and let me tell you I substitute teach in the Bronx you got to be good you got to be a good person to do that so it sounds like she was referring to President Biden when she said she can't she's basically saying I cannot vote for him anymore which says a lot because if you're a lifelong Democrat or just remove politics from it and I said this earlier in the video if you're lifelong anything and I know we all say we don't have our biases, but we all have our biases. Like, I have a favorite basketball team, and it, it would take a lot for me to not support this team. And that's something small, such as basketball, and politics is real life. So, back to what I was saying. She's lifelong Democrat, lifelong, um, I'm not going to say Biden supporter, but blue blue pill, lifelong. However, it she didn't even vote for Biden because of his takes or his beliefs. Not saying Biden is wrong on my end, but that kind of says a lot on maybe how he's running his presidency in the eyes of his supporters. I'm like, yeah, he's a product of a single mother. He worked in education in the Bronx. And let me tell you, I substitute teach in the Bronx. You got to be good. You got to be a good person to do that because you just don't make that much money. And you got to be a good person. I said, yeah, but give him 20 years. He'll have blood on his hands just like the rest of them because they do not work for us. And they do not have any power. They have no power over things like this. So I'm done. I'm done wow. pushing along this, this scam. I, I, I'm not saying this like it's going to help because I don't think it's going to help. I'm just not going to do it anymore. I mean, I raised the Gen Zs, so I, you know, I have some hope in the Gen Zs. They're different. I have one. Thank They're you. They're different. Thank you. And these Gen Alphas, they call them the honey badgers. I mean, they're going to have to be the honey badgers to deal with what's going on. But me personally, my, the 64-year-old woman sitting in a broken down old car, because I have, you know, because I'm broke, I'm done. And this is sad because... What is the, and this is, this is not my personal opinions, but this is what I view in society. I'm trying to be as objective as possible, but what are the democratic talking points? They are equality for everyone, which I 100% agree with. I think everyone deserves equality. Their diversity, equity, and inclusion, their... Um, a little bit of socialism, not true socialism, but more so an open, uh, a less restrictive or a more restrictive capitalism or form of capitalism where the money is not centered at the top and is more so dispersed to, to society more. The reason I'm bringing that up specifically is because let's look at this woman who is a lifelong Democrat. She's talking about she's done voting. She's not voting for any more Democratic candidates. She didn't say that exactly, but she says she's done and she's lifelong Democrat. She says she's sitting in her broken down car, can't afford it because she's been teaching her whole life. She's been giving back her whole life. And she thought that the Democratic side would do that too, but she's, she can't even bring herself to, to vote for the party that she's been supporting her lifetime because she sees they are not adding to society. They're, she already knows they're not adding to her life, but she sees they're not adding to anyone's life from her perspective. That's sad, man. That's, that's sad. I realized why I stopped being active in politics when I was talking to this kid on the phone. I was like a really active when I was in college. I mean, and I come from a generation that was just awful, okay? We weren't the boomers, but we weren't, we're not the Gen Z. We're kind of like stuck right in the middle there. I was born in 1960 and none of my friends were interested. I was always doing rants and they were always rolling their eyes and like glazed over. I always had to keep it completely separate from my social life. But why was I involved? I was involved because I believed it. And why did I stop? I stopped because I owed money for my car insurance. And then I got married and I got a mortgage. And then I got sick. And uh, it took 20 years to get a diagnosis because I have an autoimmune disease, which is primarily a woman's disease. And they don't put much money into it. So I was sick all the time. And then I went, oh, my God, this is by design. It's by design. They want us sick and they want us broke so that we can only think about what's right in front of our faces. And we don't think about all those abstract things. It's by design. This is on purpose. 
and I just won't be a part of it anymore. So I tell her to the kid, and I don't know if I'm going to get a visit from, like, some federal office or something, but I'm like, burn the whole MF thing down. Burn it down. This is sad, man. And I know, <laughs> of course, it's posted online. She probably is joking. I hope she's joking at some of this, but it's sad because this is how a lot of people feel in, in, in today's world. They are, they are sick and tired. And this is why I always say in my videos, Democrats aren't inherently bad. Republicans aren't inherently bad. Centrists aren't inherently bad. Who you support or what side you support does not inherently make you good or bad. I say that because there are good people and bad people on both sides. And this shows it. This woman is obviously a good woman. She's been trying to do the right thing her entire life. As you can see, you can hear the pain in her voice. But even still, even still, she's like, I can't do this anymore. I've been getting lied to. I've been getting finessed my entire life, and I'm done. But anyways, if you have any more suggestions for me, comment down below. Yeah. 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 Yeah.